Welcome to One Journey, and let's make it count. Now, we're going to talk about true crimes, and we're going to link it with the Bible. We're also going to just to find out what sin it is. Then, we're going to link it with the mental health community, psychiatrists, psychologists, sociologists, okay? They find solutions to, to our problems. Then, we're going to link it with the law of the land. And do you know why? Your actions have consequences. Today's case that we're, I'm going to bring before you has not been to court yet. It has not been. His name is Nicholas Cruz. Nicholas Cruz. Guess what he did? Oh, I've got my PowerPoint with me. Let's behave then. Nicholas is now neither innocent or guilty. Now, in the United States, you are innocent until you are proven guilty. Isn't that wonderful? So, Nicholas has opportunity. But guess what Nicholas did? Got up early one morning, 16 years old, loaded with weapons. Went to a high school in Florida and decided to unload his weapon. He wounded 17 people. He killed 17 people. Nicholas. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. Just think about the children early in the morning, rushing out the door, saying goodbye to mommy, have an attitude with their brother and their sister, not expecting to die or come home wounded because of Nicholas. In September, his case goes to, to, to court. Guess when he did this? 2018, on Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2018. We're in the year 2021, and we're still waiting for his case. We thought it was going to be last year, but we're still waiting for Nicholas. But guess what Nicholas wants? He's ready to plead guilty and give me my time. If he goes to, to trial, he might get the death penalty. Guess who doesn't want death? Nicholas Cruz. He doesn't want death. So he's ready for, okay, I'm guilty. Excuse me, young man. We have a, you have a thousand people as eyewitness. Excuse me, young man. They have over, what, how many million, two million or more documentation on Nicholas? Well, remember, innocent till proven guilty. Now, they haven't accepted his guilty plea because guess what? It happened in 2018. Eight years, those families are waiting for resolution. Eight, eight years. You wounded my sister. You wounded my brother. You killed my sister. You killed my husband. Killed my wife. Killed, what are you doing? You killed my brother. Killed my sister. And you want life? No resolution. These families are that. But September. Dun, 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 dun. Nicholas Cruz goes to court. He was 16. He was 16 years old. And guess what? Remember we talk about our friendly evil? You know, when you were young, don't talk to strangers. When you were young, you weren't always going to someone's house to sleep there because you don't know what's in that house. You know the student that you met, but you don't know what mommy's like, daddy's like, even if the families meet for lunch or something before you have them bring your child that you carried for eight months in their house. But you don't know everything. You don't know everything. Nicholas was adopted. Had two parents. They both passed, yes. If you're thinking about killing people, please call 911. They'll help you. They'll help you. It's okay if you have really bad thoughts. They'll help you. Friendly evil. Nicholas is sweet. He's such a sweetheart. Oh my goodness. You mean he's a sweetheart? Oh, oh, Nicholas. Such a sweetheart. Remember we talked about friendly evil. Grin, smile, lie. Plotting. Plotting. Sociopaths. Uh, um, uh, psychopath, narcissist, Woo! plotting, plotting for your demise and not on your side. So we can't give our children, let them go here, there and everywhere because you don't know the dynamics of that family that you're about to enter in. What Nicholas did, well, we can't say that he did it because guess what? 
Allegedly, he has done nothing. He is innocent. In USA, innocent until proven guilty. What he's accused of, however, with 1,000 witnesses, is going with gun and, and shooting people down. The kids were happy on the school bus doing their thing, sharing food, doing whatever. They weren't expecting Nicholas to rain bullets down on them. They weren't expecting bullets. No, ah, oh, my arm. They weren't expected to be wounded. Oh, my side. Uh-uh, Nicholas, you got some explaining to do. And you know what? I think the mental health community is gonna really enjoy Nicholas because they're gonna all wanna talk to him. Sometimes when mass murders happen, they, we don't get to talk to the actual gunman. But Nicholas is still alive. And he's kind of cocky because he's very famous. And they haven't, he hasn't had his court date. And everyone in the United States has the right to, to have their court date. But Nicholas doesn't want to die. He doesn't want the death penalty. The 17 he killed... Oh well. What does the Bible say? Thou shalt not kill. What does the mental health community say? Where was the psychotic break? When did it happen? He has a whole team of psychologists that he's been going through these eight years and you know they're really pushing it and mapping it through so they can understand what happened in his brain. What happened in the planning stage? Nobody around him to self-correct him, redirect him. Okay, mom is dead. Dad's dead. They adopted you. They didn't have to, but they did. You didn't stay in the system moving from one home to the next home to the next home. You had an opportunity. But, like I said, innocent until proven guilty. And we are waiting to hear about Nicholas Cruz. Stand by September 2021. Nicholas goes to court, then we're going to report back to you. Now, we want to thank you for, um, oh, we want to thank you for subscribing. You guys are awesome. Thank you. I see you. And guess what? I subscribe back to you, and I'm also answering you and giving you your hearts. I appreciate that. But please, can you share, like, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when I'll be back with a new story. Now, the next story we're going to talk about is white collar crime. Guess who it is? Bernie, Bernie out of New York. That's my clue. You figure out his last name, but he's going to be in the business section of white collar crime. And he was good. He was smart. I want to thank you for joining One Journey today so we can let you know that to stay tuned because Nicholas is coming up for court in September 2021. Everybody's been waiting eight years for this, so we're quite excited that the families get resolution. Um, the next thing I want you to know is that we only have one journey. <laughs>